Okay, Captain Jack, Uncle Reggie, we've been waiting to do this monumental opening here and we're so grateful. So uh, Uncle Reggie has been toting this auto hop around for 40 years and um, he asked his friends on YouTube if anybody wanted it and nobody, nobody wanted it so he hung on to it and then earlier this year he gave it to Captain Jack who is his friend from uh, Jacksonville, Texas. And then, uh, well, I, I met them on uh, YouTube earlier in the year, uh, probably about uh, late September, October, and Uncle Reggie had just given the auto hop to Captain Jack. So, anyway, we've been waiting a long time to open it. We're waiting for the right time, me and Don, and we're just so grateful, and it means a lot to our ministry. And uh, I think especially now, Thanks so much for your encouragement, Captain Jack, because I don't think, if not for you, with you doing your Santa, I would have done it. So, uh... Maybe this would work better. Okay, thanks for that. I might not even have one. That's great. I change pants. No, yes, I do have a jackpot. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I was just going gentle. Yeah, that would do it anyway. <laughs> Don's got his knives and his tools at the ready. He's just having a tea break now and uh, we're very excited. Uh, we're playing the next time on the fourth Sunday, which is two days after Christmas here at church. And uh, I didn't think we'd be doing Christmas carols this year at the nursing homes, but it's gone well, hasn't it, Don? Yeah. It was last Monday, I started going through them and I saved them. Uh, printed them out last year, wasn't really into them, never really sang them, and uh, straight away, straight away, the girls and the guys at uh, Madigan were helping us sing them, and I was learning a phrasing from listening to the uh, old timers. <laughs> Great packing, Captain Jack. Oh my goodness, I can see a lot of packing done. Oh. Well, that's nice to see. Yeah. Marines. Where's this paper from? Pictures, lovely. <laughs> right? Yep, Texas. Longview, Texas. Holy smokes, it's even got a case done. Good. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, what wonderful packing, Captain Jack. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Ooh, a real vintage, beautiful instrument. Holy smokes. I should put it on, let's put it on the top. Yeah. Wow. Here we go. Uncle Raggy. You looked after it all this time. <clears throat> We've seen this kind of case before, haven't we, Don? Yeah. I didn't realize you had a case with it, too. <laughs> <laughs> More packing, holy smokes. Oh, yeah, there's a waste back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, there's a... There's a tuning wrench right there. Yeah. Maybe this is the one that Uncle Reggie says it doesn't fit. Oh. What did you do, Captain Jack? You must have gone and bought this one. Fit. Yes. Absolutely. I'm gonna... Oops, it is. I've got this old one and I was gonna have that ready and that's uh... There's a bit of play there, so this looks really good. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Well, I tell you, to see the A flat major, E flat, B flat, now Don and I, we're going to be able to play in the key of B flat. So the B flat would be one, yeah. F would be four, and the E flat would be five. That's my favorite, favorite key right there. <laughs> so, 21 chords, 
we're going to play or be able to play all the incidentals, all the little extras. There's a lot of the Christmas carols and what a beautiful, beautiful instrument. Um, gosh. I'm going to clean that up, get the cute get the q-tips in there um, yeah probably a telemarketer oh that's Mark oops I'll get rid of it if I can that's Mark well you missed our gig on Saturday so it's a bit late <laughs> <laughs> well Captain Jack Uncle Raggy Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to tune it. I'm going to tune it from the top midway through and go back and forward not to put strain on it, but I can see it's such a sturdy, well made, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, really, it's not. I got a home in Glory Land that outshines the sun. I got a home in Glory Land that outshines the sun. I got a home in Glory Land that outshines the sun. Way beyond the blue. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, Don. Yeah. So me and Dom, we're going to be able to go around and show people what an auto harp is. <laughs> and uh, especially, uh, I think the rubber pick worked well on yeah. Saturday. And uh, that, that sounded pretty good to me. Yeah, doesn't it, Dom? Really? I'm just going to... It's a lot of that's right in the rhythm, isn't it? Well, that was just with my fingers. Yeah. And, uh, well, rhythm, I mean. You yes. Had, you had good rhythm. Right. I started with a banjo pick at first, the brass banjo pick, last two years ago, and uh, it was so awful sounding. I mean, I didn't realize at the time because I was happy I could just play something. Yeah. But as time has gone on, I've been more confident, and uh, I used to play with two picks, and Uncle Raggy showed me they're fighting one another, so play with one pick. Yeah. He has given me so many types. Beautiful. Key of C, key of F, B flat, E flat. The G chord, there's a the G chord right there. Yeah. Probably go down. Right. Don's still got a lot of work to do. He oh, takes no. care of minister. Well, Captain Jack. Uncle Reggie, the new chords here that uh, I haven't been able to play for so long, so I can't even tell you. Just absolutely beautiful. And um, the color of it, the coloring, kind of like a sunburst. I haven't even seen this color before. It is absolutely beautiful. I love to see the keys that were used often on these older ones. The B flat, the G, the A, D7, E, 7, B7, A minor. It's unbelievable. Straight away, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this home and uh, tune her up. Not give it a hammering. Just uh, maybe play one song. And then uh, tune it up over the next couple of days. I can't even believe it. Even the strings look good, you know. Really, they do. Beautiful. Uncle Reggie, I can't thank you enough. Um, his grace is sufficient. I can't remember how to play it, but...
predominantly F7 and B flat. And I couldn't play that on mine because uh, I don't actually. Well, that's my favorite key, and I couldn't play in it because there was no E flat. There's an E flat in there. Um, I can't thank you enough. It's just looking at it, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So uh, I can play it same as Mother Maybell did, way up on the shoulder. Let me just uh, tilt this up a bit. So uh, Don works at the church here, so uh, he's been looking after the other half of me for a couple of weeks, and we were just waiting for the right time, so uh, absolutely beautiful. absolutely beautiful. These songs that I just played, I haven't played those at all because, uh, well, I couldn't play them on anything that I had. And we all know that uh, you can't play the ukulele the same as you could. I can't uh, do the B flat and the E flats yet on the ukulele. So, Captain Jack, Uncle Raggy, look at that. 1879 to 1979 handcrafted Oscar Schmidt model 21 CR absolutely beautiful just uh, such a sturdy 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 beautiful instrument and uh, I've had some in the past where the joints are coming apart this and that and uh, this is gonna be uh, very well taken care of and uh, I was playing the songs very gently there I want to really uh, tune it up each day give it time to settle in and stuff and uh, you know the felt for the core bars there they look in ever so good shape I've played a lot worse deep teeth chord bar felts, look at that. I mean that E minor um, looks pretty much brand new. The teeth there, you can see. There is no deep grooves from pressing down on the strings like many. Oh my goodness. Uh, um, A minor, D minor, Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, very exciting. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are. You're brighter than the morning star. You're fair. I can't play it, so I've got to find the music. I haven't played that song, Sweet Jesus, for a couple of years. I was using A flat there, and uh, that I know of. There's no 12 quarter auto harp that has an A flat. So these right up here, top three there E flat, F7, A flat, those are my favorite chords right there. 
and uh, B flat is my very favorite chord in the whole world. Uh, when I play with my friends, though, uh, of course we play in the key of G and C and most easily easy chords that you can because often the guys like Mike on Saturday he doesn't practice we only practice really at the nursing homes and um, they're seeing the music for the first time but this is going to uh, just be help me to bring songs that I couldn't otherwise do uh, especially in the nursing homes uh, very exciting very 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 exciting and uh, I'll definitely be miking this so with my Behringer amp I can run a little mixer through it. I haven't done that yet because uh, but this is going to open doors to really deliver the music and hopefully bless the folks in the nursing homes. So yesterday I was clearing the space, clearing the decks because uh, definitely we're thinking about doing a walk around and uh, I like to get some candy canes, put some little Christmas card tags on them and have a bunch ready, spread some Christmas cheer around town. I can't thank you enough guys, so uh, I'm gonna give you an update. Right now, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, get the Q-tips there in between the strings and um, just so lovingly been cared for Uncle Raggy, I cannot thank you enough it, the 21 chord was always my dream instrument and since I got into music since I realized that I hadn't missed out that I could learn an instrument a couple of years ago I always uh, got one's parts or not working just to get in the door I couldn't afford out of the gate a new instrument and actually my Carla and uh, that I got recently, the soprano, was a new instrument. And prior to that, the newest instrument I had was the Les Paul ukulele that I got uh, last July. But uh, that didn't have the Aquila strings, it had the nylon strings. So I was kind of, I thought, hmm, this is not really the sound. I didn't really understand. But uh, of course, I picked that Les Paul for the name and for the prettiness, so I, I knew nothing. Since I did a lot of research after that, and uh, I love the uh, mahogany uke, so guys, absolutely beautiful. I'm playing that so gently because uh, I'm not doing it justice. I've got to go take it home and tune her up. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, can't thank you enough, guys. Okay, I'm going to take all this stuff here and uh, go take her home. All right, cheers, guys. <laughs>